Hi, I'm Queenie and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so next time you will be updated with our new releases. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about something that people lately think will make them never go to the gym again. We are talking about something for weight loss that doesn't include tiring workouts. We are discussing a type of plastic surgery that can literally curve your body. Today we are going to discuss liposuction. Liposuction is a plastic surgery procedure that removes extra fat from the body or specific parts in the body. It is also called lipo, lipoplasty or body contouring. The procedure uses a suction technique to remove the fat from a specific part of the body such as the abdomen, hips, thigh, buttocks, arms, or neck. Lately, it has become a popular cosmetic surgery option for people who want to lose weight easily. However, it is not typically considered an overall weight loss method or weight loss alternative because you're more likely to lose weight through diet, exercise, and bariatric procedures such as gastric bypass than you would lose from liposuction. People usually get a liposuction procedure to improve the shape of their bodies and remove excess fat from specific parts. They try liposuction when diet and exercise can do the job. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding liposuction. Today we have Dr. Park, who is a leading doctor at Ready Plastic Surgery in Seoul. He is going to discuss with us about liposuction from an experienced point of view. Hello Dr. Park, how are you? How are you? Uh, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah. Hello, I am Park Sung Chul, the representative of Ready Plastic Surgery. Can you tell us about what is liposuction? Liposuction is an operation that removes a subcutaneous fat layer between the skin and muscles of the body through inhalation. Successful liposuction does not remove all the fat layers in the body, but minimizes the side effects and creates a pretty body shape by removing them properly. So, are there any difference between liposuction for men and women? Basically, liposuction is done in the same way for both men and women. However, men prefer a way to emphasize the six-pack, and women prefer a way to emphasize the waistline. We proceed with the procedure according to this request. So, can people get liposuction while breastfeeding? Women who are breastfeeding can also get liposuction. However, people who have had surgery may need to take antibiotics or anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce inflammation. If the mother takes these medications, it is recommended to avoid liposuction because the ingredients of the drug can be transferred to breastfeeding infants. So, uh, does fat reappears in the liposuction area? Usually you don't gain fat unless you get liposuction and later change your weight. However, a sudden increase in weight after the procedure can make the fat layer thicker because the existing fat cell size increases. However, fat cells removed through the procedure do not reappear or form new ones. So, can liposuction be performed on multiple areas in one surgery? Full-body liposuction can also be performed. However, the procedure can take too long, so it is difficult to proceed at once. So, we usually perform surgery two to three times several times. So, if you want to do a full-body liposuction, you can do three separate places including arms, abdomen, and lower body. Alternatively, if the BMI is less than 25, you can have two procedures divided into upper and lower body procedures. Uh, how long does it take to stay in the clinic after the surgery? If you have four hours of sleep amnesia, when you have liposuction, it takes four hours to recover. So if you have anesthesia for an hour, you can get a recovery care for an hour at the hospital and then leave the hospital. However, if you receive three to four hours of anesthesia due to prolonged surgery, you can get three to four hours of recovery care before being discharged. But there is no need for hospitalization. 
So is it possible to lose sensitivity of the skin in the area of liposuction? After liposuction, there are cases where the skin senses drop in liposuction area. During the treatment, we usually drill 5mm to 10mm holes in the skin. And only liposuction is carried out through these holes. So we cannot pay attention to all skin. Therefore, there is a possibility that the skin senses will be reduced. But the chances are very low. And even if the skin senses are reduced, they will recover after six months. You don't have to worry too much. How long would the recovery period be for a liposuction? The recovery period varies from person to person, but it usually takes a month to three months. However, it takes two to three days to recover until daily life is possible for convenience. So when can the patient start physical activity after liposuction surgery? After the procedure, the pain is reduced after two to three days. And the daily life is possible after a week. However, you can do activities such as Pilates and yoga after two weeks. And radical activities such as PT or exercise can be done after a month. Um, so, Dr. Park, um, what is the most common liposuction on the face? The most preferred method for face liposuction is jaw fat removal. This is the most preferred procedure followed by a jawline sharpening procedure. It takes less than 40 minutes to operate, and the recovery time is short, so many people prefer it. Liposuction is an operation that removes the subcutaneous fat layer between the skin and muscles of the body through inhalation. Successful liposuction does not remove all the fat layers in the body, but it minimizes side effects and creates a pretty body shape by removing them properly. Basically, liposuction is done in the same way for both men and women. However, men prefer a way to emphasize the sex pack, and women prefer a way to emphasize the waistline. We proceed the procedure according to this request. Women who are breastfeeding can also get liposuction. However, people who have had surgery may need to take antibiotics or anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce inflammation. If the mother takes this medication, it is recommended to avoid liposuction because the ingredients of the drugs can be transferred to the breastfeeding infants. Usually, you don't gain fat unless you get liposuction and later change your weight. However, a sudden increase in weight after the procedure can make the fat layer thicker because the existing fat cell size increases. However, fat cells removed through the procedure do not reappear or form new ones. After liposuction, there are cases where the skin senses drop in the liposuction area. During the treatment, we usually drill 5mm to 10mm holes in the skin, and only liposuction is carried out through these holes. So we can pay attention to all skin. Therefore, there is a possibility that skin senses will be reduced. But the chances are very low, and even if the skin senses are reduced, they will recover after 6 months so you don't need to worry too much. Thank you for joining us once again at Klausbo TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. We will respond to you as soon as we can.